I can see, Father. I can see at all. The little boy cried. The doctor stood between the boy and his sad father. I'm sorry. There's nothing more I can do, he said, pleaded the father. This was. This was 1812. The doctor had tried all the medicine he knew. Nothing had helped the three-year-old boy. This little boy had accidentally poked his eye with an awl. That was one of his father's tools. The eye had quickly become infected. The infection had spread to the other eye. Thus, Louis Blaisdell started his life as a blind person. He was a bright boy. There was some difficulties, but he added to his new situation. He played with his friends. He did not demand a special treatment. In those days, blind children did not go to the school. But the local priest and a teacher knew that the education was important for Louis. The two men helped Louis enter a local school. Later, they asked a rich man to help the boy. He gave Louis money. Then he could go to a special school for the blind in Paris. For the first time, Louis used special books for the blind in Paris. These books were very big and very heavy and very difficult to difficult to use. The school had only fourteen of them. They filled each letter. It took a long time to read sentences that way. Louis had often forgotten the beginning of a sentence. When he got to the end of it, he knew there had to be a better way. Charles Barbier found a better way. He invented the the better way from the world time experience. During a a lap, the Peronic Wars, the soldier at the front used a light to read a message at night. The one small light exposed their position to the enemy. A system. As a result, many of them were killed. So Barbie A invented a system called sonography. The system used arrangements of raised dots and dashes. Soldiers could read messages with their fingers in the dark without the light. Later, Barbie A attended a science and literary exhibition at the door. It included books for blind. He knew blind children had much difficulties in reading with their fingers. He tried to interest the director of the school in his writing system, but the director was not interested. Fortunately, the director was replaced a few days later. The new director showed a lot of interest. When Louis first tried to a new system, he was excited. It was easy. It really was something better. Still, it took a lot of time to read a page. These books too were large, but large, heavy, and very expensive. There had to be something better. Louis had to find it. Louis went back to his home in the country of Bikisha. One day he was sitting on a rock, juggling one of his father's awl. He was thinking about the problem of the book for the blind. Barbie A used the used dots and dashes to represent letters. Louis thought this was an excellent idea. Still, it was not enough of an improvement. The dashes took up too much space. Suddenly, the awl in the sand gave him an idea. The idea was repress, re, represent letters only with dots. Using that idea, Louis Bell punched out the letter with his father's awl. Then he punched out a word. Then pressed the sentence. Then he tried to, tried to read his, 
with his fingers. He could read it quickly and easy. At last, he could remove the dashes in Barbie A's system. Louis Braille had found the best way to make a book for the blind. He had solved his own problem and also the problem of countless blind people. Today, 45 million blind people all over the world benefit from Braille.